Hello and welcome to a series of video tutorials on ASP.NET Core. It is originally um, adopted from a series of tutorials by Microsoft people on from the ASP.NET Core and other groups and um, I have given the credit to them uh, on the description page of my YouTube video. So today we will work with the local SQL Server local DB and ASP.NET Core. Now the movie context object handles the task of connecting to the database and mapping the movie objects to database records. The database context is registered with the dependency injection container in the configure services method in the startup.cs file. So this is the con configure services method and this registers the database context with the dependency injection container within this method. So this method calls by the runtime. Now you could use this method to add services to the container. So this is the database context is added over here. The ASP.NET Core configuration system reads the connection string. For local development, it gets the connection string from the app settings.json file. This is the connection string. The name value for the database, database name equals within curly braces database name. The name of the database will be different for EO generated code and the name value is arbitrary. So when you deploy the app to a test or production server, you can use an environment variable or another approach to set the connection string to a real SQL server. Next is the SQL Server Express Local DB. Local DB is a lightweight version of the SQL Server Express database engine that's targeted for program development. Local DB starts on demand and runs in user mode, so there is no complex configuration. And by default, local DB creates .mdf files in the C users slash user directory. So, in order to open the SQL Server um, object explorer is needed. So, in my case, it's already shown on the left hand panel SQL Server object explorer. Just in case if it is not visible, then you can click on view and click on SQL Server Object Explorer. Now here I have got this database Razor Page Movie Context with the only table of concern is dbo.movie. So I will just right click the deep movie table in the database and view the designer. So it is going to load the designer surface. So on the bottom you can see two tabs design and T-SQL. So the T-SQL is already created, create table dbu.movie and okay now the designer service is loaded with the names of the fields, names and data type and we can see a key icon next to the ID field. By default Entity Framework creates a property named ID for the primary key. Now right click on the movie table and select view data. So I will just have one data, one record because that's the one, the only ID, the only record that I have created earlier. Now I will see the database. So I have already created a seed data file. Um, in the models folder. This is within the models folder and I have written the code to 
seed the database to initialize the database with the number of movie, title, release date, genre and price and finally context.save changes it saves all changes made in this context to the database and if there is any movie in the database the seed initializer returns and no movies are added so if there is already any movie so it just return because the database it sees as has been seeded so it doesn't add any movie from this range of new movies okay now we'll look into the program.cs file and here the following code in the program.cs that does three things it gets a db context instance from the dependency injection container call the seed method passing it to the context and dispose the context when the seed method completes so all of these three functions are done in this one so seed data dot initialize it calls that initialize method from the seed data class and it seeds the data base with the seed uh, calling the seed method now a production app wouldn't call database dot migrate so this uh, database dot migrate will not be called in the production it's added to the preceding code to prevent the following exception when the update database has not been run so this exception is SQL exception cannot open database rager pages movie context 21 requested by the login the login failed the login failed for user username now we will test the app by deleting all the records in the database so we will first run the app by pressing F5 We delete this only record and then what we'll do is to force the app to initialize the call methods in the startup class so the seed method runs to force initialization we can do one of the two things IIS Express must be stopped and restarted so we can do this with any of the following approaches so we'll what we'll do is uh, just bring it over here um, it's not needed so we will go to the um, IAS Express icon system tray icon that is here and right click and razor page will exit so it, it comes up with a dialogue are you sure you want to stop all the worker processes and exit so I say yes and then it exits the application and then I let run the application again um, in the non debug mode I was running it in the normal debug mode so I will press F5 to run in the debug mode here now you can see that the app has shown the seeded data all of these data that were seeded from seed data method that was this 
so we can see all their records are truly seeded into the database thank you for watching